We're going to get our meeting started. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the uh, meeting of the Mayor and Common Council of the City of Westminster. Uh, we're going to begin the... So first of all, uh, thanks for everybody coming out tonight. Uh, it's going to be very fun uh, making these awards and presentations. Uh, if you have any electronic devices that need to be silenced, uh, please do so. And we'll begin the meeting the way we usually do with a, the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. So our first uh, item on the agenda is the presentation of checks for the Fall Fest charities. Mayor? Mr. Ken Horvath, please come forward. And whoever else on Fall Fest wants to come forward. Unfortunately, most of them couldn't make it to uh, so. How you doing? Good evening. I'm Ken Horak, president of Westminster Fall Fest. And I'd like to start off by acknowledging our sponsors. We'll start off with the city of Westminster. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you very much. <laughs> then we have Westminster Patch, Quantum Internet Service, WTTR Radio, Carol Eagle, the Community Media Center, Carroll County Times, Goodwill Industries of Monocacy Valley, Carroll Community Bank, BB&T, Brian Wagner Web Design, and Cone Creative. And those sponsors either helped us out with services or monetary donations. Uh, we, the Westminster Fall Fest Board consists of seven members. It's myself as president, Marshall Graham, Marshall Graham, Marshall Green, Lori Graham, Sue Horak, Tom Cannon, and who am I missing? Is that all of them? Abby. Abby Gruber, yeah, and Robin Turney. I'm sorry. There are two newest ones. That's why. We had 290 volunteers this year to help put Fall Fest on. Three of those volunteers I would like to uh, give a big hand to because they stepped up, and without their help, Fall Fest would have been in a serious bind this year. We'd have got it done, but they definitely made our life a lot easier. The first two was Rick and Laura Schoenfield. They helped us with the bingo tent. And the next person would be Nikki Hasher. I can't say enough good about Nikki. I mean, when it came time to put on a parade and I was thinking, who can I do it? I get an email from Nikki saying, you need help? So can we give those folks a hand? And of course, we have Special Olympics of Maryland, Carroll County, Stacy Davis Breast Cancer Fund, and Good News Jail and Prison Ministries. They were our chosen charities. And that's why we're here tonight, because they want one of these. <laughs> this year, each one of our chosen charities gets $7,500. So if you'd like to present a check, Good News. Good News Jail and Prison Ministries, would you like to step up? Uh, it was a, uh, just an amazing uh, time for us to uh, be part of this uh, great city event, countywide event, actually. And uh, us being the new kids on the block, we really didn't know what to expect. But uh, after the four days was over and uh, the team that we had, um, you know, uh, ripe, wiped the sweat off their brows, um, we said, wow, this was great. And it was so wonderful to connect with the community and so we were very blessed. And uh, as the chaplain uh, right here in our uh, local detention center, um, and Ann Logsdon uh, also, uh, um, uh, she sits on our uh, chaplain support team. And I have some chaplain support team members here. Could you stand up, please? 
These are part of the board that keeps me. That says, well, I think we're missing a couple, but this is part of the board that keeps me straight. So um, <laughs> I'm just so grateful. We uh, are very blessed uh, to uh, be part of the community. So thank you so very much. Uh, this event is a, uh, just a terrific thing to connect with the community. And, um, you know, we look forward to, uh, to next year. Thank you very much. Next we have <coughs> Stacy Davis Breast Cancer Fund. Dawn DeMario. Stacey Davis Breast Cancer Fund has been selected two years in a row, uh, last year and this year for the um, Fall Fest. We worked at the Scarecrow Tent. Um, we're used to, I am used to perfectly polished fingers and toes and hair, and um, working in the Scarecrow Tent was quite an experience. I loved it, loved it. Um, I didn't know I loved other people's children so much, but so I kind of got to know something about myself um, over the last two years in the, during the weekend, and um, I'm grateful actually for that. So, Stacy Davis Breast Cancer Fund is um, celebrating next year our 10th year. Um, our foundation uh, gives money locally to women and their families who are suffering from breast cancer. So only the women in Carroll County or um, their families who are suffering with breast cancer. To, to date this year, we've given away $53,000 in grants. Um, we've helped over 30 women and families in Carroll County just in 2013. Thank you, Ken, for awesome leadership. More importantly, Sue, for helping him lead. <laughs> That's the leader behind She it. kept us straight. We know. We know. Um, Ken and Marshall, Lori, Sue, Abby, and Robin, I'm really thankful for all your time and all that you do for the community. Um, God calls us to serve. This committee, the Fall Fest Committee, um, serves with grace, and I've learned a lot of sweat. So. You guys really get it done. Um, I've learned a great deal from this committee, and I thank you very much. <laughs> our, our committee um, actually has received $16,000 in two years from the Fall Fest. So, yay. Yeah. I'll get my check. Thanks for your picture. Get my check. Hold the check. He's got the other check. And we're going to keep that one. You're donating this back? <laughs> no. Back to the women. <laughs> Thank you. And our last, but definitely not least, will be Carroll County Special Olympics. Thank you once again. The, the, this is our se second year also. We um, are more than just the spring ga games you, you, you see at Westminster High School. We actually have 19 programs that run year, year round, beginning at the age of two now. And some of our oldest volunteers and athletes are in their 60s and 70s. So we're still going strong. Um, one of our soccer teams have actually been picked to go to na nationals in New Jersey beginning it's over, over the summer, so they need to keep practicing and practicing. So this um, donation will re re reinforce their time in the soccer field. 
Um, I couldn't have done this. I decided to go back to school in August and am in school still till next two weeks. And um, Laurie Bre Brewer and Da, da and McGuire, stand up. <laughs> stand up. <laughs> they stepped up tremendously so I could go back and we'll be in school now for the next couple of years. But um, I, I thank them a lot for helping me this year since I had to step back and helping me with lots of Special Olympics stuff. Um, Special Olympics, on a personal note, has made me a totally different person. I've had my mom cry, I've had friends support me, but the most, the bestest thing, as my son would say, is that he is able to come with, with me and volunteer with, with me and see how much we help the athletes and their fa fa families every day. So this is great for him, and he's hoping for no school tomorrow. So he's at home getting a shower and wearing his pajamas inside out, upside down for tomorrow. But thank you guys again, and we appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Why does everybody want that? All the way from. All righty, and you'll notice we only had three charities this year, but we made do. Now, next year, our charities that were chosen for next year are Special Olympics of Carroll County. Good News Jail and Prison Ministries. Carroll Hospice. And the Action Club, headed up by the Kiwanis. Once again, I'd like to thank you and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we're going to move on with awards. I have notes here. Okay. We're going to do Marathon Maine, right? Or, no, that's not what we're doing. We're doing the Maris Cup first. Voice for the voice. Okay, thanks to everyone who uh, entered our annual Mayor's Cup Holiday Decorating Contest. We had uh, 16 eye-grabbing entries this year, making our downtown beautiful and the judge's job difficult to determine the winner. In a closely contested contest, the good time gals braved the elements during a rainy Thanksgiving weekend and uh, just a few votes separated the winners from the runners up. It's my pleasure to announce that the 2013 winner is the Flower Box 2. <laughs> this can be displayed proudly in your uh, place of business. Thank you. And do you have anything to say? Just, uh, it's an honor. Thank you very much. It was fun. And everybody in the shop, you know, got to create and, and be creative. And we did it all as a team. So that's how we do everything there. So thank very you. Very good. Well, thank you Thanks. very much. Just so everyone knows in TV land, uh, the Mayor's Cup is a coveted award, which is now engraved with the name of um, <clears throat> flower box too. We hope you'll showcase it proudly for the year to come. Congratulations also to the Snooper Shop, which was first runner-up, and 2012 champion Sturgill and Associates, who came in third place. Thank you all for uh, uh, making your storefronts beautiful for the downtown during the holiday season. Um, without the businesses being involved, it, it's creates a very difficult uh, task for us as government to help support you. Uh, but being involved, it is a true treasure uh, for the Main Street. So thank you again. Congratulations. Um, it's my pleasure this evening to announce the winners of the 2013 Miracle on Main Street Electric Holiday Parade. A panel of three judges consisting of local business owners assessed each parade entry on theme, detail, and brightness 
in the following award categories. Spirit of the Season, Best and Brightest, and Main Street Champion. All winners received $100, a trophy, and of course, bragging rights. First, I'd like to recognize Shirley and Richard Daniels, uh, accepting on behalf of Carroll Lutheran Village for their winning entry that best reflected the Spirit of the Season Award. Good. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And you have something to say? Well, on behalf of the residents of Carroll Luthen Village and the staff, uh, we appreciate the honor and uh, this uh, award. And uh, I know the uh, residents would really love to see it. Uh, it is a resident project. Not uh, we have. Uh, the marketing pays for it for our uh, uh, for the materials, but all the effort is uh, residents. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being involved in our community. And life is sweet at Carol Luthen Village. That was the theme of our cookie float. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. The next award goes to Bob Wimmer, representing Carroll County Veterinarian Clinic for their entry that earned the award for Best and Brightest. Thank you. A couple of words. Yeah, I do want to, uh, the rest of the staff wanted to come, but they're at the Christmas party right now, so I'm missing dinner for this. But um, I want to thank, this is our fifth year doing it. Uh, it's a great event. One year I look forward to actually seeing the parade. Um, but uh, I mean, I really appreciate the, all the volunteers who put it together, and we really enjoy doing it. Look forward to doing it again next year. Thanks. Yeah. All right, take care. Merry Christmas. And last, but certainly not least, uh, will Melissa Wolf uh, and J.C. Cuckendall please come forward on behalf of the Home Depot ex to accept the Main Street Champion <laughs> Award. Yeah. Now, this was a great honor. Um, the judges all felt that it was uh, worthy. Do right. you have any words of wisdom? <clears throat> okay. Well, on behalf of the Home Depot, we uh, we really had uh, a great time being part of your community. Uh, this event we look to look forward to uh, every year. And if I could just make one comment, um, Dennis Keplinger did all the work. So we're getting all the glory tonight, but he really did actually do all the work. He's really uh, creative and. Uh, we look forward to uh, next year. So uh, thank you very much for having us as part of the community. We really, really enjoy it. Thanks. Appreciate your... Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I want to shout out um, a big thank you to all uh, of our 2013 parade entries. Your creativity, time, and attention to detail make this parade a proud Westminster tradition. Thanks to the uh, Graham, Dutter, Welsh family who first brought it to us from uh, an idea they had. Um, the Miracle on Main Street Electric Holiday Parade could not exist without your support and participation. And I would like to also shout out to the staff of the City of Westminster and Parks and Recs for all that they have done. Um, the uh, support also from one company that it wouldn't happen without the batteries. Um, on behalf of Interstate Batteries, we want to shout out a big thank you to Mark Desperi, 
owner of Interstate Battery, for his steadfast support uh, of his phenomenal um, staff and community organization on his part, getting batteries and inverters to all the uh, floats that are in need of such uh, to keep their um, parade entry lit during the parade. Um, this year, we can also thank the Desperate family and Interstate Battery for bringing us Santa to downtown in Westminster style. Our hats to you for securing the majestic red six horse hitch pulled by the stately Pine Creek Perchurance horse horses. It was quite a sight to see. Many onlookers described it as breathtaking. For all uh, of your efforts, um, he is going to be awarded the Powerful Partner Award. So he'll, wasn't, he wasn't here to accept it tonight, but he will get the award. I would also like to encourage uh, Penguin, uh, recognize and thank the Penguin Random House for their generous sponsorship of the parade. Happy holidays, and don't forget, it's never too early to start planning for your float next year. I appreciate all of your um, attendance, and thank you for the community support. Have a happy holiday. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, so we're going to continue with the business portion of our meeting. Uh, if anybody, you're welcome to stay for that, but if you're not interested in that, you're welcome to, to step out at this point. We wouldn't be offended. All right, our next agenda item is approval of the minutes of the meeting of November 25th. Uh, hope everyone's had a chance to review them. To make a motion to the minutes for the second. So motion and a second. Any additions, uh, deletions, corrections, amendments, modifications? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. We have no public hearings. Uh, we have one item on the consent calendar, renewal of the letter of credit for BB&T Bank for a uh, million dollars. Ms. Palmer. This is the same letter of credit that you renewed last year. It allows us to borrow up to a million dollars with little or no notice if we get into a cash flow issue. It's essentially a safety net. Um, we did not draw it on it at all this year. Um, if we do draw on it, we pay it back at the prime rate. Any other questions of Ms. Palmer? Make a motion to uh, accept the uh, consent calendar. There's a motion. A second. I'll second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor of approval of the consent calendar? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Consent calendar is approved. Mr. Mayor, report. I really don't have anything other than, uh, again, thanking the staff uh, for an outstanding week and months of planning and bringing uh, joy to all of our community uh, during the holiday season. We got rained out on one of the events, but uh, still, we were there prepared. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Reports from standing committees. Mrs. Albert. Uh, yes, I would just like to pass on a greeting uh, for the merriest of Christmas and the happiest of New Year. Thank, thank you. you, Mr. Albert. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, two quick things. I'd like to uh, compliment both Mr. Glass and the Chief. They do a lot of work in the background. We have these snow emergencies. And, uh, you know, Chief, all your communications and working at the EOC and all. And then, Mr. Glass, you know, your guys out there. I mean, I, I drove in from Oakland yesterday. I left at 930 and got into town about 3. And Westminster was in far better shape than everything in between Oakland and here. And it just struck me as I came into town, I thought, this is great. And, and you guys just do a wonderful job, and I'd like to say thank you to both of you. Thank you. I said two things, but I really meant both of them. So that's it. Thank you, Mr. Fauci. Mr. Frazier. Uh, the other thing I'd like to say is uh, the open house the last Monday was really nice. When I got there, it was packed. Yep. All the food was great. Uh, decorations were outstanding. Can't say enough good things about it. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone, that was responsible. Thank you, Mr. Frazier. Mr. Whitson. Um, I would echo Mr. Frazier as well about last week. Thank Mr. Mayor and all the people that were involved with that. It was really, really nice. Um, also, the festival of Rees that they have down there at the Art Center is very, very nice as well. And uh, thank, I, I echo the thanks especially to the people who take care of the streets. Is no problems. We really appreciate all that you guys do. And make sure that Mr. Bloom knows that. I will do that. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Whitson. 
I had the uh, opportunity to drive from Westminster to Frederick for my uh, other job in the height of the storm, and uh, Westminster was in far better shape than Frederick. But it was, uh, I, I echo Mr. Kovacic's compliments. Uh, we have no bids, no ordinances, no unfinished business. One item of new business, a motion to cancel the meeting of December 23rd. I'll make that motion, Mr. Second. President. A motion and a second. Any discussion, objections, uh, concerns, debate? <laughs> <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, the meeting of December 23rd is canceled. Ms. Wolf, departmental reports. Um, before we get on to our reports, I would like to, to do two things. I'd like to, on behalf of the staff, wish the mayor and common council um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and to um, give you the thanks of the staff for the extra time on um, over the holidays. That was most appreciated, particularly since they're all having to work every weekend. <laughs> so it makes for a nice time. Steve? Uh, thank you. Um, one item, the, uh, the Board of Zoning Appeals will be meeting January 7th. We've been approached by Weiss Markets about a gas and go at the Weiss Market. So um, that requires a special exception approved by the Board of Zoning Appeals, and that will be January the 7th. That's all I have. Okay. Really no report, but uh, to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and thank you for the additional time as well. We are in the process of carefully putting away all of our um, holiday decorations and activities from Santa's treat. So we're taking this opportunity to clean out our storage closets at Recreation and Parks, which has been an interesting endeavor to say the least. So we're getting that tucked away so that it's organized and ready to pull out next year. Um, and we are enjoying some downtime at this point where we'll begin to um, really fine tune our event planning for the upcoming year and come up with sound timelines for the press and um, all of the other associated pieces that go into those events when we're going to put out applications, um, when we'll open certain things for registration um, and those types of items of business. So um, this is certainly a time that we have in the back of our minds as we are busily rushing through our summer, fall, and, and early Christmas season. So um, we're relaxing and enjoying, and we certainly hope that you have the same opportunities as well. So thank you very much for the additional time, and happy holidays to everyone. On behalf of the finance department, the same. We really appreciate your support over the last year. We feel like um, really made a lot of leaps and bounds over this year. We I don't think we could have value, so um, we appreciate that. The same, we'd like to wish you all a happy holiday season. For the second week in a row, I feel like I'm delivering bad weather news. <laughs> uh, we are expecting another winter storm over, well, not overnight tonight so much, but early tomorrow morning coming in and lasting through the early afternoon. We're talking about three to five inches of additional snow in our area, and really expecting to snarl traffic between the morning commute probably less in the afternoon commute, but in communicating with Jeff and the streets department, we're prepared for it, and uh, we'll be out there patrolling the streets, making sure everybody's safe. And uh, thanks to all for uh, all your support throughout the year, and best wishes to offer a happy holiday and a prosperous new year. Thank you. I have nothing. Chief, can I ask one question? Certainly. Being a teacher and all. What, what time do you think that is, are you? <laughs> <laughs> To, to hit here. Being a teacher, I set my alarm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do expect that uh, school board will act upon that. There is a conference, uh, weather conference call at five in the morning that I'll be participating in, uh, as will they and, and county emergency management. But I think it's uh, probably going to be a tough thing to get kids to school and we'd have to turn around perhaps or something that kind of. But I'll let them make that difficult decision. <laughs> <laughs> Geez, I, I, in all the pushes for the holiday, I need to bring up two items of business, but I have to. Uh, number one, I went to the uh, Maryland Municipal Chapter meeting. Um, the mayor was unable to make it because his daughter had another award. Um, but this was a legislative meeting. All the legislators were there. Uh, 
Um, two things are very interesting. Number one, um, the legislative agenda for the Maryland Municipal League is to get back the um, highway user revenue. What it appears they're going to settle on is we'll get the same amount we got this year, which is more than we expected because it's that $15 million grant. They are calling it a grant again so everybody gets, um, a job and gets it in their mind that it comes every year. That was, um, that was a good piece of news. The um, second item that they have is a group that's studying the, um, the town county agreements of every county and, and how that process works. It, it works differently in all the counties that have incorporated municipalities. Uh, and it, this it comes up from time to time. And it's just a study group now. And, is designed to uh, make a report to the legislature during the session. So I thought that was very interesting because we talked about whether that's uh, the right amount that we get or not. Um, the um, other thing is we are still working on our stormwater management uh, fund. Uh, at this point, it's not a fee, but at the uh, MML dinner, every one of the commissioners who was in attendance um, led our legislators to believe that we already have this agreement and we're already moving forward with a plan to incorporate the municipalities into the county stormwater management fund. Um, I think that that probably needs a little bit of uh, adjustment yet, but we have a, a meeting set up on the 18th with the managers. This has been sent back to the WRCC to come up with the plan. So we will dutifully do that. I think. Uh, since everybody's in such a happy mood to be cooperative, that should translate into dollars. But <laughs> that's just my thinking on it right now. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> that completes my report unless anybody has any questions. Thank you, Ms. Wolf. Um, we're now at the point in the meeting where we entertain citizen comments. If anybody would like to be uh, heard, please state your name and address for the secretary. Come on, Tommy, you're yes. it. <laughs> yes, sir. Come to the microphone. Yes, sir. I need to be seen on television. I'm Tom Weller, 776 Winchester Drive, which is just outside the city limits. Um, Saturday morning, I found myself reluctantly working uh, the bell for Salvation Army and, and trying to kill two hours. I was observing um, the city officers with Shop of the Cop. And, uh, you know, I don't know who gets credit, but I'm going to uh, direct it to. Uh, Mr. Spalding, uh, Sergeant Spalding, that uh, I watched the officers one-on-one -on -one with these young children walking through the stores. The children were so proud as they walked out of the stores with gifts for their families, with all the police officers. Um, it was more than just going through the, the motions. Uh, they really cared about these kids and made sure those kids had a great experience, whether it was turning the lights on or ringing the siren or whatever it happened to be. I said something to one of the officers. I said, who's guarding the town? And he quickly pointed out that these were the bottom, they were on their own time that, that morning. So I just want to say thank you uh, for that. Thank, thank you. Um, it, it was a great event. I appreciate the mayor and Councilman Whitson coming out to uh, welcome our shoppers that day. We had uh, 21 children from nine families in our local community. They were really treated to an excellent Christmas. And it was a great opportunity for them to bond with police officers in a very positive uh, way. Uh, I really have to send my thanks out to the community. We have such a generous community here. Uh, we put an angel tree up in uh, Walmart and through that process garnered more than 300 gifts that were donated anonymously by members of our community that went to our needy families. In addition to that, Walmart provided uh, $150 per child to shop for their other family members. Wow. And uh, a number of businesses, uh, 70 or 80 in total, supported our effort in one way or another. So. It was really a banner year. Uh, we will take forward a treasury that we'll, uh, we'll be able to use for other events throughout the year. We're, we'll be doing a back to school program in August. And then uh, we're even talking about perhaps in something around the Easter holiday. So uh, it really is the generosity of the community that drives this. And it's a very dedicated pl planning team in the police department uh, and, and other partners around the city. Abby's a, a member of that planning team. Uh, it's not me, it's that planning team that really makes things happen behind the, the scenes. So I, I publicly thank both the community and the uh, members of the planning team for facilitating that now in our 10th year. All right. Uh, we're adjourned. Thank you.
to outstanding partner, an incredible creative energy that we work really well together. And, and honestly, the other downtowns in Carroll County are working better together because of the support that you allow me to give them. And it can't happen without you, all of you. So I just want to thank you so much for making me have such a fun job. <laughs> <laughs> you do a good job of it, Missy. Thank you. Sorry about that.